And now the city of Ontario will be taking back control of the airport. Here's more from J.R. Ibarra. It's a piece of the economic puzzle for the Inland Empire that will now finally be set in place. The Ontario International Airport has spent years under the control of the Los Angeles World Airports, which is connected to the city of Los Angeles. But through a lengthy bit of negotiating, this prized piece of property will see local authorities take control of the airport, which could potentially create an economic benefit to the area to the tune of $1 billion. Of course, our airport coming back to our control is a big, big project. We just heard, as you know, recently that uh, we have been successful in working out an arrangement with the city of Los Angeles. And that in itself is going to be tremendous to the region, to the Inland Empire as a whole. Let's not just be selfish about Rancho and Ontario. That's not only going to help businesses in our cities because of where the airport lives, but it's also going to create a great expansion in jobs and in visitors. The benefit of local control for Ontario will be felt by many in and outside of the region, as LAX has seen its passenger numbers increase over the years, which has translated into greater congestion. Ontario is looking to scoop up many of those potential passengers, as it's seen a decline of nearly 3 million annual customers since 2007. Remember, our competing airports like John Wayne and LAX and all these are reaching capacity. They cannot keep going with the restrictions they have on them. So our airport does not have those restrictions and that's going to create a tremendous growth for us. Industry will continue to grow out here as will, I hope, the continued expansion of attractions. While the transition into local control is still about a year away, it is the hope of local authorities that in spite of a very large price tag of $190 million for this takeover, the boost to the local economy will more than offset this cost and we'll see the airport be a strong part of an economic boom for the region. There's a lot of land there, so I don't think we can discount the value of that land and the development of that land that will also help develop more growth at our airport, of course. But I also think that expansion of regular scheduled service in that airport has to occur. All of us know the numbers. They're very disappointing in the way these numbers have declined. It certainly has not helped our hotels. Remember, having 6,000 rooms in this region did not come because of any other reason except for the airport. And when the airport's decline began, that caused damage to our hotels. So I don't have to tell you that our hotels have a vested interest in the growth of this airport, and they are on board to do anything they can to help that airport grow. So I would say to you that our big focus as the Visitor and Convention Bureau is going to be partnering with the Ontario International Airport Authority and the new general manager when that person comes on to expand our marketing and route development for that airport. So you can rest assured that the Visitor and Convention Bureau, Rancho Cucamonga in Ontario, will be very involved in that growth. For RC Spotlight, this is J.R. Ibarra.